Since becoming pregnant, I still eat plant-based, focusing on whole foods and colors. And this is what a week can look like. Starting on Monday, I'm craving some cold breakfast. So I'm going to make a um, green ice cream. So while the frozen bananas are thawing for a bit, I'm making the green base. So I'm adding kale, celery, frozen spinach, and some plant milk. Then I'm just blending it all up until it's a green smooth milk. And now I'm adding the frozen frozen bananas, frozen mango. I make the greens first because I don't want like big chunks of green kale in the ice cream and then you just blend it up into a nice and smooth ice cream consistency and pour it into bowls, adding some peanut butter, homemade granola. Yum! This is one of my favorite breakfasts. I just love having cold foods at the moment. And yeah, I also had a uh, leftover or overnight oats, a uh, carrot cake flavor. It was delicious. I had it because I um, yeah, took a photo for the app. So yeah, that's my breakfast. For lunch, I'm gonna make a very quick but very yummy lunch. It is a creamy artichoke sandwich, which is from my app. So it's very easy. You're just adding grained chickpeas to a bowl and mashing them all up. Then adding some chopped artichoke hearts, some spices, vegan mayonnaise, lemon juice. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. You're just gonna blend it all up into a creamy uh, thing and add it to whole wheat. The bread slices or whatever bread you want. If you like artichoke, you're gonna love this one. It is zesty. I love the dill flavor. You can also have it in a like baked potato. For a snack this day, I'm having nature's candy, which is fruit. So I'm slicing up a beautiful papaya and some watermelon. I really love fruits in the summer in, as a snack because it's very hydrating. And yeah, of course it has a lot of vitamins and minerals. For dinner, I'm making another very quick and easy recipe. It is called shakshuka. It is not an authentic shakshuka because I've veganized it with chickpeas. I'm starting with some uh, onion and garlic and just sauteing that in a pan. You can do this with oil or water. Today I think I added oil. Then add some spices, give it a stir and now we're gonna add some tomatoes. Just add it all in there, give it a nice stir and bring it to a simmer. Then you're gonna add some cannellini beans. You can of course use whatever beans. Chickpeas works also very well in this shakshuka. While it's simmering, I'm toasting some bread. Then just add it all up into a bowl without spilling everywhere. Also some uh, green olives and uh, sour cream. I'm using my homemade vegan um, cashew sour cream, which is bomb. It works on everything, I promise you. So I'm just adding it all over the bowl together with some fresh herbs and the bread and voila there you have a super quick lunch it is so good it is packed with flavors and yeah it's just so comforting eating like a stew with bread i don't know what it is but yeah it is delicious recently in the evenings i've been hungry so i always end up having a snack this sunday yesterday i made some uh, banana bread which i also have a video on anyways i ended up having a few pieces of that banana bread i love it because it's sweet it's moist it's yeah it is delicious okay so for breakfast the next day i'm gonna make some oats these oats are one of my favorites they are soaked caramel oats so I'm gonna first prep them while I'm doing some morning um, workout. So I'm just adding some uh, rolled oats, chia seeds, chopped up dates to sweeten, maca powder, vanilla, a pinch of salt, plant milk, and giving that a stir until everything is combined and put it into the fridge while I'm doing my morning things. So when I'm done with that, I'm just bringing my bowl out and adding some more plant milk. I like my oats more on the runny side. Some uh, caramel sauce. It is just the tahini mixed with some date syrup, some cinnamon. Also slicing up a banana, adding that on top and almond flakes I found in the cupboard. <laughs> Even though it's summer here still, I yeah, this one gave me some serious <laughs> fall vibes. I really love the flavors in this one. For lunch, we are having some leftovers. 
I love leftovers. Anyways, it is the shakshuka from yesterday, so I'm just reheating that in the microwave, adding some toasted bread, adding that beautiful sour cream on top with some olives, herbs, and yeah, the day is saved and I can keep on with my daily tasks. For a snack, I'm gonna make a green smoothie, my go-to green smoothie. So I'm just adding some bananas, frozen spinach, frozen mango, plant milk, and some uh, kale, which I just blend up into a creamy, smooth, and thick smoothie. This is my go-to way of having more greens throughout the day. It tastes really amazing. I would have put in celery if I had one. And yeah, I'm currently 22 weeks uh, pregnant and this is how my belly looks. So hi baby. Okay, so now I'm gonna test a recipe before I post it to the app. It is a chickpea scissor salad. I'm gonna start by preparing the chickpeas. So I'm just adding them to an oven tray lined with parchment paper together with some spices, giving them a stir and uh, roasting them for 25 minutes on 180 Celsius degrees. Then I'm preparing the scissor dressing. So I'm adding cashew nuts, capers, nutritional yeast, Dijon mustard, lemon juice, water, mixing it all up into a very smooth and creamy dressing. I'm just adding that into a jar and I'm going to prepare the greens. So I'm chopping up some romaine lettuce. I'm adding some leftover quinoa to bowls and the lettuce. Adding the dressing, lots of it, chickpeas. And also don't forget to try this vegan parmesan. It's in the app. It's very easy. Just blend the cashew nuts and nutritional yeast and salt. It makes all the difference. So just add that generously on top. And yeah, I actually forgot to film like the end result because we were so hungry and it was so delicious. The snack of tonight is a melon. Can't remember the name of this one. Is it cantaloupe? Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, it is delicious, so I am just ate um, a half of that lemon while watching some TV. Starting in next morning with a lovely walk in our neighborhood and a banana, because yeah, I don't like walking hungry <laughs> when pregnant. So for breakfast, I'm gonna have some more bananas because I'm gonna make some nice cream. So I'm chopping up some frozen bananas and adding them to a blender plus some frozen blueberries, plant milk, lemon juice and yeah by now you know blend it all up until you get this amazing consistency which I live for. This swirl is amazing. Then I'm just adding some uh, tahini on top with homemade granola for some fiber and fat. For lunch, we are at our favorite place in Marbella. It is called Wild. So I had this giant falafel salad, which was amazing. For snack, I'm having some pitaya because the other day we received a package of pitayas, which I ordered from Pitaya Spain, and they look amazing. So I'm super excited about them. So that's what I'm having, just slicing it all up. If you look closely, you can see like how juicy they are. Yeah, now you really can see the juiciness. <laughs> I know some people say that pitaya or dragon fruit tastes like water, but if you try a pitaya fruit from a tree that it has ripened on, it is so sweet. For dinner, I'm testing another recipe for the app. It is called aubergine lasagna or eggplant. It's the same. So it calls for some aubergines, which are in season now in September. So this is perfect. So I'm starting with preheating the oven because we are gonna prepare some aubergine slices, which I'm just slicing up and adding to an oven tray lined with parchment paper. And then I'm baking them on 180 Celsius degrees for 25 minutes. Meanwhile, we are gonna make the lentil tomato sauce. So I'm sauteing onion and garlic, adding some spices, tomato paste, and giving that a stir. Adding diced mushrooms and the carrots, letting that saute for, yeah, until the carrot is soft. Then I'm adding tomato passata or crushed tomatoes with some water and letting that simmer for about 5-10 minutes. Then I'm adding the canned lentils. A lasagna is nothing without a cheesy sauce. So I'm making a sauce with some cooked cauliflower, cashew nuts. Maybe I should use a bigger blender. Anyways, I'm adding some spices 
plant milk and yeah then I'm just blending it all up into a smooth and creamy sauce which should look something like this it tastes amazing you can barely taste the cauliflower but the cauliflower gives a nice consistency so now we're just gonna assemble the lasagna starting with a thin layer of the lentil tomato sauce followed by lasagna sheets I'm using just regular lasagna sheets then a generous layer of the tomato sauce a layer of the aubergine slices and and a generous layer of the she sauce then repeat everything again finishing off with the she sauce i'm baking it on 280 celsius degrees for 30 minutes then uncovered without the foil for about five minutes be careful when you're taking it out of the oven um yeah it looks amazing tastes amazing and I really like the consistency of this. It held together really well. If you like aubergine, this one is for you. It is creamy, comforting, and very delicious. It is actually in the app as I speak. Some more banana bread slices for tonight's snack. This evening, I also prepared some chia pudding for tomorrow's breakfast. It is so convenient to pair chia pudding or overnight oats before. In this one, I just had oats, chia seeds, tahini, some maple syrup, and yeah plant milk then i'm adding it to the fridge to uh, soak until tomorrow morning so when the morning comes i have my breakfast already half prepared i really should do this more often i don't do it like that often but because i'm lazy in the evening that's why. So to go with this chia pudding, I'm slicing up some fresh fruits. My favorite of them all, mango. Never forget to eat the mango core. And also some papaya and the lovely pink pitaya fruit. I'm making both for me and Pontus. So I'm adding the chia pudding, topping with some peanut butter for some more fats and calories and some nuts and voila i really love this one this is going to be my new go-to breakfast because it has it all fiber and protein from the pudding and nuts vitamins and minerals and hydration from the fruits yeah I just love it. Lunchtime, it is another leftover day, which I love. So it is the aubergine lasagna, which obviously holds a lot better together the day after. I'm just reheating that up and also adding some vegan parmesan um this one actually tasted better today i don't know why the flavors had just like developed overnight in the fridge for today's snack i went for another green smoothie it is the exact same recipe as the previous day's uh, green smoothie for dinner today, I'm gonna make a Moroccan spiced stew. So I'm starting with onion and garlic, adding some tomato paste, spices, giving that a stir and sauteing. Then I'm adding some water, coconut milk, bringing that into a simmer. This recipe calls for red lentils only, but I didn't have enough, so I mixed with uh, black lentils and also added some carrots. And yeah, bring to a simmer again, letting it simmer for about 15 minutes until the lentils are soft. Do not skip the lemon juice, <laughs> it is important. Um, yeah, it would look way more prettier with only red lentils because the black lentils makes it kind of brown. But yeah, it is. It tastes almost the exact same and it's still delicious. Hot, but delicious. <laughs> breakfast. We're gonna make a super easy breakfast. It is just avocado toast with Spanish tomatoes with some freshly cracked black pepper and of course the vegan parmesan. If you make the parmesan, please try it on an avocado toast with fresh tomato. It will blow your mind. I'm having some uh, Spanish mangoes as well. These mangoes are beyond delicious. As you can see, the juiciness just drips off. Um, I love it. I really love when my breakfasts like include a lot of fiber because it keeps me full and my bowel movements on point <laughs> uh, and also some fruits because it's so hydrating and highly nutritious so yeah today i'm at the office i brought leftovers the moroccan spice stew um it doesn't look very pretty but it is pretty delicious 
I promise you. For a snack, I'm still at the office, so I made some vegan yogurt layered with frozen blueberries, my homemade granola, a little bit of date syrup, and then I'm just mixing it all together. Couldn't find a spoon, so a fork will do. For dinner, I'm gonna make a long time favorite of ours, cheesy burrito bowl. While I'm preparing the rice, I'm gonna do the rest of the things. So I'm starting with making the cheese sauce, which I'm adding some cashew nuts, and I'm already done spice mix, because I always make this sauce. So I'm adding the spice mix, the water, and blend it all up into a cheese sauce, doing a quick stretch and set the sauce aside. While preparing the black beans, so black beans, corn kernels, lots of spices, covering it with water and letting it simmer until the water is gone so that the spices really gets into the beans. Meanwhile, I'm prepping some veggies. So now I'm reheating the cheese sauce because there's tapioca starch in it and that makes it thicken up and become stretchy. So on medium heat, I'm whisking it until it becomes kind of like this stretchy cheesy sauce. Now I'm just adding it all up into bowls, starting with the brown rice, lettuce, tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, the beans and corn kernels, and the cheesy sauce. And voila! The flavors go so well together in this one. I love this because it's kind of festive but very healthy. It is packed with fiber and it also has the essentials like proteins, carbs and fats. Yum! I really hope you got some inspirations from this video and I'll see you in the next one!